Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today we have something amazing, okay? We have this 1992 BMW E32 Series 750 IL. This is a long body. I really love these cars so much. And here's a quick story about this car. I'm gonna show you a lot of details on this car, but the story about this car is this, this car has been sitting for two to three years in one spot. And, uh, you know, today uh, we're gonna be actually um, uh, reviving this car, okay? Today or tomorrow, we'll see uh, how far we'll get because uh, it's about to get dark. But long story short, yeah, here's the car. Uh, it's actually in pretty good shape for a 1992. And this is a unicorn, you know, there's not many of these left out there. This is a V12 BMW 5.0 liter engine right there. Amazing. Uh, it's actually, like I said, getting pretty hard to get these cars. All right. And uh, um, yeah, so long story short, this car has been sitting for about three years or two years. And uh, a friend of mine actually, uh came picked this car up and brought it home here so i'm gonna be uh reviving this car so it's pretty exciting actually i'm really happy about that and super happy that this car is getting saved you know um yeah like i said especially the 750 ALs, it's super hard to get them uh, uh the only one that i saw it was actually last year i saw a black uh 750 IL like this and some guy was driving it and they're working on it it was actually in a really nice shape but other than that uh, you it's so super hard to find them uh, what's crazy about this car and what's surprising about this car is that uh, a lot of things such as tools uh, and i'm not sure about the owner's man but the tools are actually still here all the tools are here uh, wrenches everything that comes from the factory is actually still in this toolkit it's pretty amazing okay um and then also this car came with a factory phone it still has the factory phone in there i mean i, I mean that's pretty crazy because uh all these cars that you buy you pretty much can't see or can't find the one that will come with the owner's manuals or with factory phone and things like that even you know classic mercedes not just classic bmws but it's pretty crazy guys um so i'm about to show you the interior on this car this car is not perfect it needs quite a bit of work you know but, but we need to uh get it back into service we need to get it back on the road it's an amazing machine so please subscribe to my channel hit the like button share this video with your friends thank you so much for your support this car has a pretty huge trunk uh, the only thing is it has problems with the rust here in the back uh, water is leaking inside so we'll have to address that uh, there's some rust growing right here and uh, yeah there's some rust right here and right there as well and some right there but uh, other than that i'm about to show you the interior actually um one of those wheels that's actually a spare wheel right there because the factory wheel um that was on that side it got bent so we'll be looking into fixing uh that thing uh, but other than that it's got a it's a long body so it has a long door in the back and it has a sunroof and everything uh, if we start from the back it's pretty amazing this car is actually in a great shape so uh, they did take care of it you know at some point you know usually you see these door panels are like really like ugly and things like that and they're not in a good shape anymore and look at this it has a factory sunshade right here it's pretty amazing and then in the back uh, you know obviously it has electric seats something you know like that uh, classic mercedes uh, v12 uh had like for example the w140 s600 had electric seats and heated seats in the back here are the controls for it you know i don't i don't know why the seat is out maybe they were fixing it or something like that but anyways so that's the how the car looks in the back it's pretty amazing really nice it needs a lot of work and because you know it needs mainly a lot of lubrication for like door hinges and locks and things like that but here is the interior you know uh here's that amazing phone that i was talking about you know uh, it's pretty hard to find uh the phone mm, still in one of these cars and uh it has obviously electric seats and it has memory as well and the seats are actually in pretty amazing condition so i told the current owner a friend of mine to actually start taking care of the interior clean it up condition it and use the sunshade as well but other than that it's in amazing shape i really love this thing it's super nice uh yeah really amazing and uh, you know there is some uh a smell of a mold here maybe just because it needs to be aired out but you know we'll have to obviously check to make sure it's not leaking water inside uh things like that but guys this is a, a v12 a v12 engine that's pretty amazing um now let me talk about this engine so this engine right 
as far as I know, what they told me is, uh, I don't know why, but this, uh, there was, there used to be auxiliary water pump right here that they disconnected. So, uh, as of right now, as a temporary repair, I'm just going to put like some plumbing, uh, in here just so, uh, there's no leaks when we start it. And I think that these connectors are from that auxiliary pump, but anyways, uh, other stuff or other things that I know of is just if this fuel pressure regulator is leaking, I don't, I don't know if what, which one is either the left or right so i'll have to double check on that but uh yeah um we will have to do some work on this car to get it back on the road but uh, i'm pretty excited you know i'm super happy i love bringing these amazing cars back on the road so please like this video and support the channel thank you so much for all that so first step is i decided to open all the doors and just to let this car air out all right so that's basically the first step and then we'll go from there we might try to you know uh connect the battery and see what happens um yeah but as of right now it's just sitting like this the day is really the weather is really nice today so it's just uh airing out for the moment surprise who's there anybody <laughs> wow Uh, normally I would have just taken it up to but, but it's all good. Up here in our yard and flew up on the garage roof before. All right guys, so last night I replaced the oil on it. I didn't adjust the oil level just yet. We haven't started it because I want to replace the belts and I want to figure out the situation with the coolant. And as far as the coolant, I'm gonna be, I know that BMW is supposed to use a blue coolant, but as of right now, we're just gonna use a green coolant because I don't know if this system has any other leaks. Okay, and also I have to bypass the auxiliary water pump for right now um, until, because I just want to get this car going and ready to go, be road worthy, at least somewhat. And then later on, we're gonna replace the auxiliary water pump in the future. So this is just a temporary repair i'm not really worried about the heat or anything right now i'm just only worried about um you know any possible coolant leaks so i just want to eliminate that but as you can see the water auxiliary water pump is not here um yeah so i'm just gonna install this t fitting and then we're gonna eliminate all the coolant leaks and then once i start pouring the coolant in i'll make sure that we have no more coolant leaks and then if everything is good as far as coolant then I'll probably drain it out at some point and maybe we're going to replace the water pump and I'll, uh, you know, uh, put a, a blue coolant into this thing uh, the way the BMW recommends it. All right, I slightly jacked up the car because I need to replace the belts on it too, but... Um, you know, the brakes on this thing don't don't look the best. And then you can see how long the car's been sitting. There's so much spider web everywhere. 
All right, guys, time to replace the belts. I'm gonna go underneath and replace the belts. And obviously don't forget about some good orange juice. It's actually really hot today. Crazy. I'm wearing a t-shirt in Washington state in April. It's crazy. Yeah, so so I'm gonna take these belts there was off. No smoke, there is no rough sounding. Right. Okay, so this is one of the belts. This is how it looks. It's pretty cracked up, really old, and we're gonna replace it with a brand new one. This one, really very nice. Appears to be no leaks, which is good. Just yeah. gotta burp this system out of air because it was empty. So far, so good. Yeah, this is literally the only tire that's good on it. Yep. All, all the other tires are just uh, bald. Yeah, we're And anyways, so this looks all good. Camera. Let's just tighten your battery and let's try to start this baby. See how she does. Whatever side yeah. it's on. And you guys, you guys already charged up the battery, you said, or you guys yeah. are gonna need a jumper cable? No, we, we started, uh, we charged all it. All right, sweet. Oh yeah, that's Oh, we don't have the wrench here. I have a, I have a, what size do you need? Like 12 or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. I have a 13 wrench. All right, guys, it's super exciting. We just filled up the coolants, checked the oil and replaced the belts and a couple more things blew out all the garbage out of there so we're about to start this beast and see how she does and possibly take it on a test drive oh it's super exciting we'll see how she's gonna do all right 
so what I would do first is just cycle the key a couple times just so you get the fuel pressure in the fuel rail fuel rails nice 247,000 miles that's amazing that's your blower uh-huh hang on I'll tell you when oil level sensor oil level sensor level. that's all right that's not a big Audio deal just manual. When you when it starts up, just uh, make sure that the oil pressure light goes away. That red one. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Go for it. Whoa! Nice. That's okay. That's not bad. She's been sitting for a long time. Two years. Two years. That's crazy. Nice and quiet. The belts don't make any noise. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Saved another old school car. Let's make sure we have no coolant leaks. Amazing. There you go, Mitchell. <laughs> you're gonna be a king on the road now. Yeah, thanks. We, we just have to, yeah, you're welcome. We just have to, you know, get it going, make sure that she's not overheating. So, yeah. you know, I have to exercise the brakes. We're probably gonna go on the test drive in a little bit and see how she's doing. That's nice, right? Yes, yes. This window is really fat. It's almost like a double window. Yeah. Nice. I think you said they're bulletproof. They are. Because it's 750 as well. That's crazy. Yeah, bulletproof windows. Yeah. <laughs> it just needs some lubrication. Yeah. Wow, what a beast. That is amazing. She's alive. It feels great. Oh, you didn't get the turds out over here. That's all right. In yeah. The vacuum. No, it was, they were there already. This had nothing to do with it. Oh, it's a nice car. For real yeah so it's a little rough but like i said it's probably because of the uh old gas in it and uh just need some other maintenance here and there you know also brakes kind of feel weird a little bit
All right, so far so good, no overheating. Uh, I had to top off the power steering fluid a little bit because on this car, there's no vacuum brake booster. So the power steering is the one that actually controls the brakes and this brake assist. So right now we have a brake pedal and um, it shifts and everything. So we're about to go on a test drive. Go ahead, try to start it. Yeah, this, let's see. Yeah, this alternator is dead. It's not charging whatsoever. Well, the battery could just be bad. No, the alternator should show charge, but it's not showing. It's showing 11.5 from 4. Yeah, it's going to start dying here. The alternator is bad. It's about to die. The alternator is not charging. All right, so we took the battery out because the alternator is not charging and we're gonna charge the battery really quick, put it on, and then we're gonna quickly go on a test drive. So we want to test drive this car. Um, and then later on in the future, uh, we'll order this uh, alternator, get that done, change it, she'll be good to go. But uh, right now, the alternator is not charging, so the car is literally shutting off as soon as it gets to about 11.4 volts or something like that, so crazy stuff. All right, so we're gonna wait for the battery to charge up and we're going on the test drive really soon. I can't wait. So we just charged up the battery and we're gonna go on a quick test drive. It's gonna be a really quick test drive. I don't even know if we should be going out on the road because this thing might die that's why we need to be really quick but we just want to test drive it get a feel for it, how she's doing and all that stuff but like i said the alternator is a must we have to replace it asap so but i still want to take it out on the road test Um, I would probably keep the lights off just so we can save the battery, oh, you know? Right. Yeah, we're on battery power. Yeah. Kind of sluggish. Oh, yeah. On the accelerator, yeah. It's in slow mode. Wow, okay. We should probably turn around then. Or, uh, let me just, uh, hmm. That's a pedal to the floor? Yeah, it's dying. Ah, that sucks. I gotta just pull over here then. Yeah, that alternator is not... <sighs> okay, well... Now it feels like it's trying to gather up power. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the alternator is just bad. Maybe we should just, like, stop here. And then... If anything, we'll just push it back. I think we'll make it. It's okay. Well, she's driving. Yeah. So I think the alternator is just like really no good, and um, you gotta check uh, the transmission fluid. But you know, she's driving, she's moving. Mhm. Mm it's the first step. Yeah, that's the first step. So try to give it a gas all the way to the floor. Oh, that's yes. all, huh? Yes. It's like not reacting, huh? Interesting. Right. But yeah, definitely the alternator needs to be replaced. That's why it's probably dying. It just doesn't have any power or anything like that. So 
doesn't react to the fuel pedal so we'll keep digging but that's the first step forward into saving this car that's, that's right. awesome yeah you look good in this car by the way you look amazing yay this car fits you All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. And as far as this car, this car is back on the road finally after two and a half years. And it's awesome. We're going to be doing a lot more work to it, a lot more repairs and everything. Uh, the main thing is going to be actually um, to, you know, we're going to have to replace that alternator on it because it's bad. So that's going to be number one priority, actually. But I'm really happy the engine's back uh, to life. Amazing V12 and i'm pretty sure after we replace the alternator it's gonna run a lot a lot better and smoother and everything um i didn't even realize that the alternator was not charging because the battery light wasn't even on on the cluster so pretty insane but anyways thank you so much for watching it's amazing it's a great feeling to save these amazing old school classic cars so thanks so much for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one uh check out my playlist and other videos too take care